All right, good evening families and welcome to the Parent Academy Power Hour Reading is Magic. My name is Sheila Kane. I'm the Family and Community Engagement Coordinator with Pinellas County Schools and I'm happy to see um, uh, we have a small group, but I, I know we have a, a powerful group and I know we have a dynamic panel of speakers ready for you tonight. Uh, we're going to ask that you stay muted until we ask that you go ahead and unmute if that's comfortable, or you can put questions in the chat as they come to you. We're going to actually deal with the questions after each panel speaker. Uh, they'll be sharing their screen and looking at websites and all kinds of information. So any questions you have, um, you can put in the chat and we'll deal with them right after each speaker. Or of course, we will still be at the end um, able to answer some additional questions should you have them. Tonight, we are very grateful for our presenters. Uh, we have Michael Thomas from the Grade Level Reading Campaign at the Juvenile Welfare Board. And then we have Constance Shaw from Read Strong Pinellas. And we also have Irene Castro from Renaissance Mayan. We're going to start out with Michael Thomas. So I'm going to say, Michael, take it away. Thank you, Sheila. Well, good evening, parents. And uh, let me just commend you all for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and uh, enrich yourselves and uh, really have the opportunity to learn more uh, about educating your children. I'm a father of five, so I, I know wholeheartedly that passion. So I want to uh, commend you for being here this evening. Uh, like Sheila said, uh, I am with the Juvenile Welfare Board Community Projects Coordinator, and uh, I work specifically on the uh, Florida uh, Grade Level Camp Reading Campaign, uh, which is a statewide and even national program uh, that really encourages uh, resources, advocacy, support for early literacy uh, for all of our students uh, in the state of Florida. And then of course we work here within the county specifically. And I do that as a part of my responsibilities with the Juvenile Welfare Board. Uh, we have two great speakers for you tonight. So I'm not going to be long. I'm going to get out of the way. I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things that the campaign does specifically. Uh, as I mentioned, in addition to uh, uh, advocacy, the campaign also has a number of resources that uh, would be very vital for uh, each of you to uh, be informed on. And so when we talk about providing those opportunities for your children and being there, you play a very fundamental part in the success of your children. And there are a number of initiatives that the campaign uh, really has going. We partner with a number of um, professional institutions, educational, higher learning educational institutions, such as the Lassinger Center at the University of Florida. And one of the great things about this institute, not only do they provide a number of professional resources as it relates to training, there is a weekly series that I personally uh, participate in where there is a lot of cutting edge, edge best practice uh, things that are discussed and shared. And one of the things that I wanted to just share tonight, just a couple of literacy reading tips via the early literacy tip sheets that I'm showing. Now, all the information, what I, the link that I'm showing and sharing tonight, I'd be more than happy. What I'm going to do is drop that into the chat. I'm also going to drop my email in the chat in case any of you would like to reach out to me afterwards with any other further questions. But as you can see, and I hope everybody can see my screen, there are just a number. This tip sheet is uh, an excellent resource for any parent who would like to make sure they're doing the right things as it relates to encouraging their children to get a head start on reading. And you will hear from our presenters tonight to, that will spell out that specifically. But a couple of things I just want to point out here when you're reading with your children, ask children to make predictions. And these are just a couple of just tips that you can use uh, during a read aloud session. Obviously, having the time, taking the time to read with your children, uh, asking those kids open-ended questions during those read aloud types. And maybe you're doing it at the end of the night after you've given your child a bath or maybe before bath time. Uh, also, uh, it's also important to ask your children to retell the stories when you're reading with them, ask them, okay, you take a turn and tell me what you think this story is about or having them read the actual story 
And then of course, another tip that you can use is counting the actual number of words in a book title. Now, these are very simple, very easy to use, especially if you have preschoolers that you can really jumpstart and initiate those reading habits and using those specific steps and those tips to really uh, have your children begin to fall in love with reading. And so I won't take up much more time. I will share this uh, link in, in the chat as well as my email address, just so you guys can have an additional resource in case you have questions, because I'd love to be able to assist in any way, shape or form. And again, thanks for this opportunity, Sheila. It's my pleasure to be here. And I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'm going to hand it over to Constance Shaw with Read Strong Camillus. Good evening, everyone. It is a joy to have you all with us this evening to learn more about um, our Great Level Reading Campaigns. Um, my name is Constance Shaw and I'm the Literacy Outreach Coordinator for Read Strong Pinellas. And as you can see on the screen, we have the website, which is read-strong.org, okay? And so if you click onto that website, there it is. And it says, can your child read on grade level? Find out more here. So even if you click there, or if not, you click down where your child's grade level is. And I saw in the chat that some parent, it was a parent that has a 10 year old. So I'm thinking fifth grade maybe. So Irene, can you click on grades three to five? And here it says, after grade three, it gives you all the information, the tips, and some resources for your child um, for grades three to five. Also, with that, in the tips and resources, it has um, the Mayon Digital Library link. You can click on Mayon. It should click on that, maybe. Does it? No? Okay. But no, then you can- it does, but I was It does, click, okay. Because I wanted okay. to showcase but, everything. Okay. So you can access us, you can access Mayon through the Read Strong page, um, especially for those parents who are asking for Get Help. You can also click on the Get Help button there and it, or either to the left where it says Help for My Child and you'll fill out that information. That information is private. It says waiting list, but I need to take that off because there is no waiting list now. That was only for the summer. So you can fill out all of that information and it comes directly to my personal email. And I will contact you, either myself or the literacy specialist. Her name is Paris Lockley. You will receive an email from one of us or a telephone call. But you have to complete this information. And it says the superheroes, but that's, that's a whole nother campaign. But this still comes directly to me. And that was for the free online reading coaches. But at Read Strong, what we do is that we provide books to all children in Pinellas County from birth to age 17, from birth to age 17. And what we actually try to do is to help families unlock their child's reading potential. No matter what level they read on, we have books that can help your child to bring their reading level up. We share information and reading resources and ways to strengthen your child's reading skills, starting with babies, as I said, um, as young as birth. And thank you for the... Um, the website is in the in the chat and through the school age years all the way up into high school. Um, we are as the lead organization, our lead organization is our club child care and Tampa Bay's leading child is Ch Tampa Bay's leading child care provider. And we team up with the um, Pinellas County PTA and the Early Lear Learning Coalition of Pinellas County and the United Way of Suncoast to help families understand what it means to read on grade level and how to build stronger readers because we know that children are struggling to read and we don't want them to feel inadequate. So we provide the books for your child that is comfortable for them to read and also to empower them to build their reading level. Also in that, uh, we have the, we did help for my child um, and Michael already talked about what is grade level reading campaign. So you can click on that and it'll tell you what that is. And we also have the, and that's the vital skills right there. Reading is a vital skill. And so it'll show you what does reading on grade level mean? And then you can always click on any of those Florida standards assessment known as the FSA 
And then you can click where it says click here for more information for that. And also th that will give you that website too. State aside, statewide assessments, okay? Then also we collect books. We take in-kind books, donation for books. If you've seen in your community, what's called the Little Free Libraries, we take those in-kind books that are given to us, donated to us, and we house, we fill the Little Free Libraries all over Pinellas County. Whenever we see one, we, we literally keep books in our car so that we make sure when we pass by that we can um, stock the Little Free Libraries. And there's a way to contact us at the bottom Oh, for the donation, I'm sorry, for the donation, it says make a donation via PayPal. So you click on make a donation and you can create, you can give monetary donation or you can let us know that you want to give gently used books so that we can house the little free libraries. And the best way to contact us is right here on the left of the screen. You click on contact us and you will be contacting me directly. And that's the same thing where it says help for my child. All of that comes straight to my email and I only share it with our um, specialist if it's in her um, presumptive zip code. So all of that comes there. Also, you can contact us if you have Facebook, you can log on to our Facebook page, which is Read Strong Pinellas and you can like our page and you can also access this same website via the um, Facebook page. Okay, so you can do that. And every every day, the specialist, she uploads a book, a, a, a read aloud book for your child. Um, we go for read alouds, we go to grade five. So it's birth to grade five for the read alouds um, on the Facebook page. Okay, and so let me see what else. Oh, we also have coming up, our Reading with the Pros Challenge. It's 100 days of reading and it's called Reading with the Pros. I think she has that screen. Is, is it on your website, Constant? No, it's not page? on the website yet. Um, I sent the flyer to, to them today. It's not on the website yet. Paris has okay. to upload it. Okay, so Sheila will will share. Yeah, with Sheila will. She, okay, yeah, she will share that. But it's called Reading with the Pros. It's our winter challenge, and it's read one hundred books. It's a one hundred day challenge, and it starts January the tenth. And you have to register. And how you register is the contact us or the help for my child. And at the bottom of help for my child, where it says other info, you will type in Reading with the Pros um winter challenge you'll type that in so that way we'll know exactly what you're requesting help for and then we will add you to the list now the incentive for that is the winners the ones who read the most minutes not books the most number of minutes logged in and when you contact us and we contact you back we will provide you with a reading log and you will submit that reading long with log sorry with the most with the minutes that your child has read and then when we choose from those winners with the top number of minutes, you will have the day, and it's in May, with one of the pro athletes. So we have um, players from the Buccaneers that are coming, Jacksonville Jaguars, um, the Rays, Lightning, the Rowdies. So it's everyone in the Tampa Bay area. And a lot of those players went to school right here in Pinellas County. And so they want to come back home to spend time with the children in Pinellas County. So that is the incentive. So we're gonna have a fun day and when, please register. We, we are excited about it. So I saw um, Irene when we said the butts and everything. So maybe Irene will come and, um, and everyone else, you're more than welcome to come. So that is pretty much all of Read Strong right now. Are there any questions? If so, please put them in the chat. If you have any questions that you need me to answer right now. Um, my in the chat right now, Constance, but I did put both um, flyers in the chat. Okay. okay. I will attach both flyers when I send out the recording tomorrow. Okay. As well. Thank so, you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to contact me. Again, my name is Constance Shaw, and you can go ahead and contact us on on the um, 
Read Strong website or on our Facebook page. We are looking for likes and followers um, for the Facebook page because we're really, really boosting it. So thank you guys for joining us. And remember, reading is your superpower. And now I'm going to turn it over to Irene with Mayan by Renaissance. Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. We're pretty excited. Um, I'm looking forward to adding some summer reading minutes so I can um, celebrate with the pros. Um, so mm -hmm. like Constance said, that she has right here on her website, on the Ray Strong Panella's website, Mayan Renaissance is here. And you can go into Mayan just going into um, the Renaissance blog, or you can just go into read on Mayan.com and it'll take you to the community website. Now this website was developed for Pinellas County because Mayan is a digital library that has over 8,000 digital books that are access that every child in Pinellas County has access to from birth through fifth grade. And this is part of the Hillsborough and Pinellas County, as you can see here, the website. And when you come in to read on Mayan.com and you click on Pinellas Home, It'll take you right to, to Pinellas page. And then right here at the, the purple banner here, you can register if you don't have an account. But every child in Pinellas County up to fifth grade has an account with Mayan through the partnership of JWB, United Way, and the school district. And the great thing is that all you have to do is on your, a login through Clever and you have access to over 8,000 books already. And if you don't have an account, if you have a sibling at home, a two-year-old, a three-year-old, even someone that just joined the family that is just born into the family from birth, you can register for an account. Because, you know, reading starts right when they're in the womb, right? And just when you're, and you, the great thing is that Maya digital books, you can listen to them, you can um, read them, and it tracks your reading. And right here, you can play a quick video when you get on the website to see more about Mayan. And these are some of the resources. So we have a community resource page, and it gives you like all the fun activities that we did over the summer, the STEM activity. We just finished the Hispanic in, at the beginning of the year. And then we have some videos here for you as well to see. And you can see like all the things about Mayan, we have a video of a third grader in Pinellas County, and we even have a video with Tony Dungy talking about these pro athletes. Um, and, and this video all about Mayan, just telling you and Pinellas County and Hillsborough County, all the kiddos that have been part of the Mayan um, challenges. And here you have what is Mayan, tells you a little bit more, and right here you can register if you don't have an account, but every child in Pinellas County um, from birth through fifth grade has access to this, but every child that's in Pinellas County school system from K to five has access to Mayan through, through Clever. And then you have here family resources as well. And again, the same resources that you saw in the community. The great thing here is that we even have books for you curated by the modules of your school. So kindergarten, we have books for parents that gives you an idea of what books they should be reading at the grade level with their Lexile level. And if a student is logged into Mayan and they click on the book, it takes them straight to that book. So, and it has it all the way to grade five, some suggestions of books. And this is done by the Pinellas County School teachers that they put these together um, and if you can notice fifth grade and it gives you the date. Um, so and you can just click on some of the books that are on their grade level, just to help you find some books with your, with your child. And then you can also use those um, questions that Michael was talking about earlier when you're talking through with these books. And then the next, if you see the modules have dates. So the next one that's coming up is module C, which is from November to January. You click there, it gives you again, all the grade levels and you just click on it and it gives curates um, a list of books for you to, um, for, your, for your child. 
And then over here we have also some in Spanish and English, some family tips. Um, again, some great tips for reading, um, some books, titles, some questions that you can be asking, um, some login information, parent, parent volume. Um, it just gives you some, some ideas of when you're reading with your child. Um, then we have always leave the best for last, right? Then we have all our reading challenges here, right? That's the fun part. That's what um, the kiddos want to hear, all the reading challenges we had. So we just had the fall reading challenge and it was ramp up your reading energy. And we just announced all the top schools. So maybe one of you are in one of these schools. Um, they're going to receive the banner. And our challenges are a little different than constant. She's looking at minutes read. We used to look at minutes read, but we noticed that a lot of kids love browsing books, but don't finish them. So now what we're looking at is books finished. So we're looking at the top students that have the most books finished in that reading challenge period. So these are all our top schools that had over 3000 books finished for the fall challenge. That was during the Thanksgiving break. And then these are our students that won. So if you wanna see if your child won, you could just go here, individual winners, what school. And if you notice, we also have some charter, some private schools. So if you have kiddos that are in, in other schools other than Pinellas County, as long as you live in Pinellas County, they have access to Maya and you can just register. So now here's our winter reading challenge. You click on it and here gives you all the guidelines uh, for the reading challenge and the top readers are winning laptops and then the additional 30 other winners will win kindle fires so we want you reading and enjoying like all these great prizes and then we have it by gray bands so it's 40 winners for the winter challenge if you want to look at the flyer you click on it it's in both in english and in spanish and here goes the flyer and it tells you again to make sure that you're um, reading the book completely. So students need to click on, I finished reading my book, and then it will count towards the, the reading challenge. And we have it in Spanish. And the great thing is that we have all these activities for you. We know we have a long break. So we have all these family activities that you can, you, um, read some of the books and do the, the fun activities. So we have a musical instrument activity, a winter sports, act of kindness. These are all activities that you can do with your children at home. We want to keep you busy and reading and give you some fun things to do with your, with your kiddos at home. And we have winter family kids engagement as well. So we're giving you all these resources on our web page and it gives, gives you some links and some some helpful activities and engagements and this is the entire um flyer it gives you some ideas getting started personal best challenges some challenges read 20 minutes every day so specifics about reading and then it even has certificates um, so it just gives you a whole reading kit for you to work with your children at home. Um, it's taking some time to load up, but here you go. And then some competitive challenges that you can do. Um, so those are just some of the resources that we have. And we have some student goal sheets. This one is in Spanish. But just setting goals is so meaningful with your, with your children. Just like, okay, how many books are we gonna read during the reading challenge? How many minutes are we gonna complete? We're working with constant um, reading challenge, the minutes, and then with Irene um, and Mayan, with the uh, books finished. So um, so you have an opportunity to, to win some great prizes and to be part of meeting some pros. And let's see, and that is it 
for Mayan. Anybody has any questions? So remember, each child in Pinellas County has access to Maya through Clever. And if you don't have an account, you just come into the Read on Mayan website and you can just register for an account for Maya. Any questions, Sheila? Yes, there's a couple of questions. Um, the website, uh, read on my and Danielle posted. It's the pinellas.renaissance.com, correct? So, yes. Yeah, so you can put okay. the, um, that one or you could just put read on my and then click on Pinellas. So whatever okay. is easier to remember, but you can do the pinellas.renaissance.com as well. Okay, great. And then uh, we had Ms. Stewart asking uh, at the end of fifth grade, since we've said, you know, Mayan is up to fifth grade, will, will her child be loved? locked out of Mayan or will they be able to access throughout the summer? So they'll be able to access throughout the summer. That's a great question. Yes. Okay. But then once the new school year starts, then they'd be out. Yes. So and they can register if they want them for another year. Um, they can register for an account, but they won't have an account through, through Clever anymore. Right. Okay. Good idea. And then um, Let's see. Danielle wanted to confirm kids can download up to 20 books and then don't need the internet, you know, once the books are downloaded. Is that correct? That is correct. That's amazing. So, yeah. So, yep. Getting started with Mayan and you can download up to 20 books and read them offline. And that is great for traveling. So now if you're traveling for the winter break um, and you want your kiddos to continue reading, they can upload to 20 books and then read them in the car. And then once they get back, they have to log back in and the books will be registered as that they read them. Wow. They would just have to log back in. So we had another question about what is available for middle school students. And I know we just kind of went over that in, in terms of Mayan that the content is up to grade five, but you could register after grade five to access. Um, if you wanted more for middle school, um, there was some information and content from the Read Strong uh, site all the way through the, the grade levels. So, um, Lee, I, I don't know if you missed that, but we are we will be sending out the recording. So, uh, Constance Shaw, who spoke after Mr. Thomas, um, had several sites that were would have been applicable for middle school students. I don't know if anybody else has any other uh, input on that question. So, um, Constant, for yeah. Constant is up to high school, right, Constant? I'll let you. Yes, speak I'm up to, to that. high school, and they're actually the um, tangible books. They're not virtual books, so your child will have a book in their hand, printed mm -hmm. material. So just remember to to sign up, right, Constant? Yes, on your all they have to do. Yep, all they have. Yes, all they have to do is sign up on the website, and uh, we will bring the books to their front door or they can pick them up at the office. And Book delivery. That's amazing. Yes. And I didn't know yes. Reed Strong did the, the little the little libraries. That's yes. amazing too. We jumped on that when you know COVID hit. So we wanted because mm -hmm. a lot of people were not able to go to the actual library and we saw a chance to get more out in the community by you know filling the little free libraries. Right. Well, no, could, no kid in Pinellas ever should be saying, I don't have anything to do. Right. <laughs> I'm Absolutely. Bored. Right. Absolutely. Especially now with the one-to-one -one initiative for grades three to five in Pinellas County with the technology. Right. So you can go in, you have over 8,000 books to your, uh, on your, your library is 8,000. <laughs> so, um, and then here's a, under resources on the community, the offline reading, it, there's a document here on how to download mm. those and the and the different um, mm. okay. devices that you can download those um, 20 books that gives you a step-by-step. -step. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna actually copy this and put it in the chat. Okay. Irene, we had a question about what is the, you mentioned the one-to-one -one technology. Do you wanna answer that? So Pinellas County is giving, um, gave every child in grades three to five uh, device, a computer, 
And I think next year the initiative will be K2, um, K to two. Um, so Penela, that's a Pinellas County thing that they gave out devices. And that's the reason why we're giving out um, laptops as prizes. JWB is actually funding that for Pinellas County um, students that um, you can win a device also if you're in K2 for the winter challenge. Any other questions, Sheila? None in the chat. Um, families, you feel free to unmute if you wanna ask a question or, or go ahead and, and type it in. We can hang around for a few more minutes or. Sheila, I just wanted to say that um, our program, the Juvenile Welfare Board and our local campaign, which is uh, named called Early Readers, Future Readers, we partner with Mayan and Reed Strong um, because of the great work that they do and the great work that the campaign does. And I just want to kind of re reiterate the importance of uh, parents getting involved and in helping their children to read. Um, it, it's uh, many of our sessions for our Learning Tuesdays via the Great Level Reading Campaign. Uh, there's a lot of research. There are a lot of doctorate level and uh, administrators across the country that talk specifically about addressing learning loss and how parents can significantly uh, uh, handle that or address that and decrease the frequency of that and the prevalence of that, in addition to utilizing all of these resources, these free resources that Irene and Constance uh, basically went over. So again, just want to admonish and commend uh, every parent here um, that's taking time to ensure that they have the tools that they need to um, ensure that they are helping their, their children and setting them up for success by uh, taking advantage of all of these resources and helping them become proficient in reading by the third grade, but even as some of the parents shared, be even beyond, even into middle school uh, and even to high school. So again, kudos to each of you parents who are here tonight. Absolutely, Michael. I, I wanted to take a minute. We're talking a lot about uh, technology and, you know, student use of technology. And uh, as we now mentioned about the, the device, um, the one-to-one -one device program. Also, parent use of technology, uh, obviously, to navigate some of these resources uh, that we've shared tonight. We do have an interesting program from the Pinellas Education Foundation, which I, I wanna mention, I'm gonna mention, if you come to more parent academies, I'll mention it every time we're on. Uh, it's a, a grant funded program for uh, family coaching on digital services. You know, if your student is, is bringing their device home and you're having issues connecting, um, you personally want to learn more about how to help your student, you know, without having to ask your student. I mean, isn't that the, the thing now we, we ask our kids, how do I do this? Um, but sometimes we want to know how to do it before we've, we've asking, we're asking them how to do it. Plus, you know, I'm not sure my kids always told me all the, the, the true scoop. So um, we have a, a program called Family E-Learning Coaching, and uh, there are dedicated coaches. There are Pinellas County Schools employees um, working in the evening and the weekend when you actually need the services. So I'm gonna put uh, a, a link in the chat. Should there be any, any interest, please contact the, the Family E-Learning Coaching Program. It's, um, it, it's amazing and the, the, they've assembled a, a very uh, wonderful group of uh, coaches and they're ready to work with you. Um, they'll come to your home, you know, they'll meet you in a park, They'll meet you at a Starbucks. They'll meet you wherever you want. Uh, they'll just do some, you know, phone coaching, whatever it is you need. And it's, of course, free of charge. So uh, no reason to not take advantage of, of the resources and to, to grow your own knowledge about, um, you know, digital services. I don't see any other questions in the chat. So I, I think I'll... Uh, wind down here, we'll say thank you to our presenters. It, it was um, another wonderful, wonderful set of uh, resources we've learned about tonight. Irene, Michael, Constance, thank you so much. To the 
parents who have attended, we thanked you and thanked you and recognized that you're taking time out of your evening to support your student and how important that is. And we will follow up with the recording and all the resources we've mentioned, um, all the links, so that if you didn't grab them if, from the chat, don't worry, we'll be sending them out to the email that you use to register for the session tonight. And if you are interested in upcoming Parent Academy sessions, we're actually, this session is the last uh, in our fall catalog of Parent Academy Power Hours, but we will be putting together a winter spring catalog and you can look forward to all that information and session links. Uh, the site is just pcsb.org slash parent academy. So thank you all again for uh, attending. Presenters, any last words? Uh, thank, thank you for joining. <laughs> thank you for joining. And, and don't forget to have your kiddos read over the winter break. And, um, and take advantage of all the resources on the Read Online on the website. Absolutely. I want to thank everyone for attending tonight and for um, joining in. And so please stop by our Facebook page, which is Read Strong Pinellas, and also get ready for the um, winter challenge so that you can um, hopefully be one of the winners for reading with the pros. Log those minutes in. So I put my email address in the chat and you can access me through Facebook or through the website. Thank you all for joining us. All right, have a great evening, families. Thank you again, presenters. Thank you for having us.